Welcome to the session number two of this course, Spring Boot Basics. In this session, we are going to go over the basics of the Spring Boot framework. We are going to learn how to create a Spring controller. We are going to create our first Spring service. We are going to learn how to change the default configuration on Spring Boot. And we are going to go over the steps to use the debugger. So in this video, we're going to create our first controller. First, we are going to learn what it is a Spring controller. And then we are going to go over the code to generate a Spring controller. OK, so this diagram shows the flow of a request in a Spring Boot. First, the request is received by a controller. Then the request is parsed and the data is sent to a service to execute the business logic. Then if needed, we may request to our database or a third party service. The important aspect to remember is that controllers are the entry point of requests in a Spring Boot. So how we create a controller? Okay, to create a controller in the Spring Boot framework, first we have to create a class and add the annotation REST controller. Then we have to determine what action our controller is going to handle. It's going to create, it's going to retrieve, it's going to update, it's going to delete the resource. Then we create a Kotlin function and we annotate it with the request map it needed. We have the post mapping, the patch mapping, the delete mapping, and the get mapping annotation. Okay, so let's go over an example. Let's go to the start.sprint.io website and let's create a project with Gradle, with Kotlin, and Spring Boot 2.0 M5. Group Kotlin sample and the artifact, we're going to call it demo rest. For the dependencies, let's use web. There's Spring MVC with Tomcat. So let's click generate project and let's save it here. I'm going to save it. I already have one, but. So let's save it here. Perfect. So let's unzip it. Okay, let me change the name. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go to IntelliJ and let's open the project. Let's go. Okay. We open, enable our import and click OK. So IntelliJ is configuring our project. Okay. So let's go over and create our class. Let's go to Kotlin, right click, new Kotlin class, and let's call it controller. Okay, perfect. So the first step is to annotate it with REST controller. Now, for this example, we are gonna handle a get request, a retrieve. So let's create a get controller. For this, we are gonna create a Kotlin function called get name. This function is gonna return a string that is the name for now, let's just hard code it. Perfect. Now to let Spring Boot know that this is a key controller, let's use the get mapping annotation. Perfect. We just create our first controller. So let's go to demo rest application file and let's run our main function to start the Tomcat server with our controller. Okay, so demo server started. So let's go to the terminal and let's do a call localhost. Remember that Tomcat runs on port 8080 by default in Spring Boot. And that's it. Let's make the call. Name is Alberto. The new line here soon. So let's clear. Okay. So now this is pretty useless, right? Let's make it more interesting. So first, let's add the new line. And now, instead of hard coding the name, I want to pass it on the request. So let's change Alberto by a variable called name using the string templates. On the parameter, let's have a name. Let's type string. Perfect. Now, to let Spring Boot know that this variable basically be grabbed from the URL, Let's add the annotation variable 
and this path variable is name and on the get mapping we are going to specify that this request sends the name after the root perfect so this name is going to be mapped to this path variable and this path variable is assigned to the variable name and we're using it here so let's rerun our server to grab the latest class perfect so let's go to the terminal again and let's run call localhost 8080 and let's add a new name let's call it peter let's run it perfect 